use up some paints that I mixed up yesterday. We had another blue Zoom room party for the Shelly art class. And it was super fun, but I have all these paints mixed up, so I figured I would um, use them. Now they're pretty thick, so I don't know <clears throat> if I'm gonna be able to blow them out too far, but I I'm gonna use my big hair dryer today and hopefully they'll blow them out a little better. Also, I don't know all of the colors that I use because there's paint on <laughs> the uh, little sticker that I put with the names on. So I'll have to kind of guess a little bit. Oh, so that sneaker's running around. So I'm just, uh, so the goal today I have on um, gray pillow and I'm just gonna use up these colors, do one big bloom, try to reach the edges with cells, but I don't know if I can because my blow dryer is gonna go too far. So let's start, I love my favorite um, Liquitex gouache, fluorescent violet. This is a two foot canvas. Um, so remember, I'm always gonna pay attention to my layering of opaque colors, pigments, pearls, because you want to have a really good level. So that's an opaque color. Um, and for next, oh, so there's a pigment company called This Little Piggy, and they're just launching. It's from the Fluid Art Company. And, you know, I use a lot of color art pigments, but these pigments are great because they're really, um, they're, they hold their color really wonderfully. And I didn't even add any tube paint to this one. Um, so you should check them out. And they ship, <clears throat> we're almost about to ship to Canada, but they ship in the States and in Australia. So now we're gonna do um, Arteza Pearl Turquoise. I'm just gonna load in all my favorites and kind of see what happens. Now, I like to add my gold, but it's really thick. So I'm gonna actually add it in the middle and hope that it shows up a little bit because um, I did a test and I added it on top and it didn't even move. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Um, and why don't I add a little bit of copper while we're at it? So we got our sparklies in there. This is pretty thick too. Now why don't I add a, another pigment. The pigment we're gonna use is boysenberry and I mixed that with permanent blue violet Amsterdam. And there we go. So what else do I wanna add? I think my topper is gonna be the sky blue Amsterdam. So I wanna be aware of that. Why don't I add one more? I'll add, um, this is Color Art Hydrangea. I didn't mix any tube paint in it. We love those layers of sparkle. Am I missing anything that I want? No. Um, so I'm gonna top it off with the sky blue. Let me just get my big hair dryer happening here. And um, so we have really nice layers of opaque, pigments, pearls, metallics, and you want to do that because when you're going to resin it, it really creates beautiful layers to it. If it gets to the resin table, if it's lucky enough. I'm just trying to put my attachment on my hair dryer. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put on the sky blue. Today I'm using Payne's Gray Cell Activator. Take the Shelly Art class to find out what it is. I have a 15% off discount code in my description. All right, so there's the opaque. We want to get those nice peacock cells. All right, now let me put it back in the middle a little bit. All right, it's sticky. Okay. Now let's get that cell activator on and we'll see what happens. There we go. Okay. Got my big hair dryer. Make sure it's on the cool setting. Huh, 
probably could have used my smaller dryer. Okay, let's go in with the small one. Oh, I gotta plug it in. Hold on. Some nice cells though. Okay. Now, let's fix her up a little bit here. I'm going to blow down in the middle to break it up. I got some tiny cells. I think that's because my, ugh, look, I just got white paint right there. Because uh, my paint is so thick. Wipe it on my shirt. <laughs> okay. I hope that they stretch when I spin and they don't just stay in the middle. See, I want to blow it this way, but it's kind of hard to get to, isn't it? Uh, whatever, that was a weak one. Okay. So let's spin, ugh, white paint. Let's spin and see. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is uh, Sherwin-Williams. I had them add tricorn black to their medium base to make gray. I don't even know if we're gonna see any gray, but okay, let's do it. So before I continue, I see it's stretching out that way, but I want it to go this way. And I think I'm gonna remove that white paint that's bothering me before we continue. Okay. All right, let's see. See a bloop here. Need to fix that. Get a new spoon. Now, how am I going to do that? Hmm. Sometimes you get, oh God, I'm really, look at this. That's what was in there. All right, let's hope that didn't ruin it. Okay, let's keep going. looking certainly interesting like I feared but not really the cells in the middle aren't growing so much uh, but it could still look interesting but I'm definitely not going to have cells reaching the edges so we'll see if that's going to look good or not let's see where we're at you know what, it's kind of pretty. There's definitely a lot of depth. I definitely have my peacock cells happening. Um, there's negative space, which is nice. Let's see how much paint is left. So when I tilt it, there's still movement. So I'm gonna spin it a little bit more. It's nice to have negative space, especially with a gray background. All right, okay. I don't hate it. Definitely, of course, not what I wanted completely, but uh, it's pretty, a lot of good depth. Yeah, this is the way I would look at it. Um, and, but that got, kind of goes to show you why your consistencies are super important because th if things are too thin, it won't work. If things are too thick, it won't necessarily work. But 
you can still get pretty things. Thank you for joining me. I'll do a close-up. Let me know what you think. Have a good day.